what is up everyone and welcome back to some more alan wake we are with alan and just part of me wants to just get right into it i'm doing his side first <laughs> we are on the hunt for creating a new draft in the last one we found out that it was alan that wrote saga into the story but now scratch has gotten that version and now he's using it and changing it so i'm curious of like oh it's so curious to see like what changes he might have made and it's really cool to see how the drafts that we're making in the dark place reflect what's happening in real life. And now that we're doing this side first, <laughs> everything going on on Saga's side, it makes me worried because each one ends with someone dying. So it makes me curious of who is going to be the next one dead. Oh, yes, I'm over here. There was like, oh, maybe I'll check it out on the safe spot. <laughs> um. Initiation draft three. Okay, so that's the Ocean View Hotel map. Subway station. Um, now we're going to the Poet Cinema down that way. Mr. Door. I did want to go back into the Ocean View. I am sad that I totally forgot to do the other versions of in that one room. In 108. I also have an echo here. Which I do want to go look at as well. And maybe I can finally get this item. <laughs> There's no guarantee on that. That's for sure. Um, but first I want to go get that echo. Oh, and I did want to do some Night Springs things. <laughs> we'll try one more time, I guess. <laughs> that item is cursed. Please let me have these items. No, maybe I gotta clear out the whole room. Everyone get out, get out. Can you move? You're in the way. This looks like another one, but it's not. <laughs> but it looks really similar. Why is this one broken over here? Maybe I can get it now. I scared everyone off. Maybe. Oh, man. What's wrong with this one? <laughs> It's, it is the one. Yeah, it's it's the one. <laughs> it's it. <laughs> Unless it's not. Maybe I gotta close the door. Nope. Fine. <sighs> you know, they all dress differently, but they honestly, with the how they talk, I know they're just saying lines from the book, but... What if they're like the dead versions of Alan? Like all the times he died. And Scratch has just been getting stronger and stronger. Really? Oh, it's this one. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, don't get distracted. I'll do that one next. God, every place is like infested now. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, stay back. Yeah, let me put a light here. This is the one I wanted to do next. <laughs> We're just gonna put this light here. Beautiful. Oh, it's gone. Oh. We can look at them, that's cool. PB, hello? I'm gonna come back. Maybe that one and the other one are the same? I don't know. I'll do one of them. Okay, where is this echo though? That's the real reason I came over here too. Yeah, it looks like this way. Oh, I see it, I see it. It's right there. Right here. This city will 
suck you dry if you stay here for too long. You'll end up a lost soul, haunting the streets and alleys. A faded out shadow, glimpsed by some other poor bastard on his way toward the same fate. Your broken dreams become a broken mirror, and the twisted reflection staring back at you with all the pent up anger. Regret, guilt, and shame was the monster you could never get away from. Mm. Eerie. Mirror peak. Um. Cool. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Wait, there's another one here, but did I get this one? Maybe I'm losing my mind. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. Right, let me go talk to Tim really quick. Hold on. Tim! So, no, I already looked at that. Some of your boxes aren't working. What do you have to say about that, huh? <laughs> I know. I know I didn't get that other one. Maybe that one, like the one that I just looked at, maybe it's just closed again. But I know that bathroom one I did not get. <laughs> I'm back. Why isn't that TV working? Like, is this one and the other one maybe the same? Work TV. Fine, I'll go to the other one. On this episode of Night Springs, I'm going in. Love always wins. We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality? but across all realities. For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city <laughs> that is always the same, crazy. yet always different. In Night Springs. Night Springs. <laughs> it's so good. Tonight's reality bending episode Time Breaker. Time Breaker? Like Tim Breaker. No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes. I will stop it, and I will come back for you, my love. <laughs> what the? And cut. Everyone, take five. All right, you heard of it. <laughs> hey, Neil. Maybe I'll get to learn more about Tim. Is this in another universe? Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. 
immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Poison pill entertainment. Mm -hmm. Wasn't this interesting? I'm a, I'm a movie star. <laughs> Tim, you never told us. It's so cool we are making this shot. Let's dive in. I have my name shot. <laughs> you wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now finally we are making. Timebreaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent. Goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across <laughs> parallel reality. Hey, it sounds pretty epic. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So the vortex and the gadget. I'm, sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's there's just so many acronyms here, but it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between <laughs> realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier. To <laughs> it reminds me of reading like some of the documents in <laughs> right. uh, Control. Yeah. <laughs> you clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Oh. Somewhere this year are stalking like soup, is way. part of the video game and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere your character, the agent, is real and he could appear here through a portal any time now. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. I'm back. <laughs> My computer crashed. <laughs> but we're Wild still here. Yeah. The lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Okay. Wait. I'll go grab it and go read it. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a <laughs> reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. Hmm. Almost like it's true. Like there are other worlds out there. Hi. How are you working in the pitch black? <laughs> Can't see anything back here. I'm I'm going, I'm going. Why are you rushing me? Suspicious? I think so. See, in another world, Tim Breaker is not playing in a movie called Time Breaker. Oh. No, this is your end. Nah. <laughs> what the fuck was it's that? becoming a reality in this universe. It's me. <laughs> I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no yeah, way with, this was real. Yeah, with a look like that looks just like you. <laughs> I, 
I had to admire how oh, real the body and the props looked. <gasps> oh, another one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> Jesse? This, this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. Not Branch. Oh, is that like another version of me's name? Are you cast in this game too? Listen, there are things you need to do. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> Man, I didn't get to read the script what though. The fuck? What the fuck? No. I blanked out and I was suddenly someplace else. I had group, gaps too. in my memory before. <laughs> but that's the movie star lifestyle for you. This was something else entirely. <laughs> like, oh, not what his narrating is. The last thing I remembered was the redheaded woman at the door. The redheaded woman. Looked familiar. Mm -hmm. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. <laughs> think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true Slowly after all? Did Sam it? do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall method acting reality show? It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I'm <laughs> punch Sam in the face. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where are we? Well, this looks like yeah. Oh, what had Sam said? Right by the lake. I needed to find an energy node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. See, he was telling you, he was helping you. And that means we all know who we're looking out for. Mr. Door. I bet he's around here too. No, no, no. Door's coming. He knows where I am. Where it goes at. It's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy. I need to get it away from the trailer. Away from the TV. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice <laughs> in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version of me. The one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act. The Luma Vista TV. Okay, we have the what TV. Sam had said, I needed the energy node. The other me had hidden it away from this trailer. So that door can't get it because then he can't get to the other worlds to kill other versions of me i'm here great love that great map <laughs> the handwriting was mine maybe that's why his like thought process is so sporadic the master of many worlds who is the master of many worlds darling's book he's pulling the strings i must hide from him Door me, another me, someone else? He who wrote this, string theory, multiverse. The energy Why is he after me? The forest, after us. Somewhere. He's coming. I was Polyhedrons. Time. I had to go look for it. Polyhedrons. Where is that? Let's see if I can find it. Polyhedrons. Are the key. <laughs> Sorry. I have to like, find where that was written. Because one of us is the chosen one. Who can stop him, replace him? Craig Agent, Branch, Time Breaker, James S. You are paranoid, a nutcase. Killing us, not dead, something worse, broken. Am I the chosen one? I must be careful, find a way to break through. Disappear off the grid, we are connected in our dreams. The red-haired woman must find her again, I know her. Lisa, Elsa, Jesse, Elizabeth, Liz, Savage, Dylan. 
Jesse and Dylan. That's that's interesting. <laughs> I hear their thoughts when they die. The red conspiracy don't wipe. Why the acronyms? <laughs> what are they hiding? Me, anytime I read an acronym, it could be the most simple one. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm so bad with them. This place is a disaster. Let's go. I must go find it. You want to be the chosen one because you He's don't want to die. Note at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Do I have map? No. Okay. And the en energy node near the creek sounds like a plan. You. I'll take more stuff. Thanks. Okay, we're at the creek. Is it gonna be around here? Why is it always nighttime? Can we not wait till morning? <laughs> when it's bright outside and not scary. Oh, light. I had to find the creek oh. there. Just like in the video game. Just like in the video game. Night Springs. City Park Parallel Reality Time. Bleed Zone. Cross Dimensional Anomaly. No trespassing. Love that. <laughs> At least they let you know straight up. Hey, don't go there. You might go into a different reality. I was kind of like, yeah, I was gonna say kind of like Alan, stuck in the light. Use the PRS on the energy. The PRS was charged now. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. You just met. <laughs> Something was behind me. Thanos. <laughs> Running. Okay, well, I guess you weren't the chosen one. Looks like I am. <laughs> this version of me. I'm going back. Oh! Fuck. Fuck this Not shit! Me. I thought it was just the plot of the video game. He had that symbol on him. I wonder if he was like with the wreck agent. Maybe that's why he thought. It's all true. It's no hoax. No video game. It's really happening. I was lost in the multiverse. I had to become the role to survive. We got Be this. The agent. I had to get back <laughs> to the trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. Dora would be coming for me next. I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. We're here. Use the PRS, the polyhedron reality shifter on the TV, to get at it. I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was going to run into this door person. This is going to take but me into. Stay here either. A new reality. Here we go. So in that reality, he was an agent that kind of knew about everything. Oh, hey, welcome to the Ocean View Hotel. Nice, cute. No, 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 no. Oh, welcome no, to Night no. Springs City's Ocean View Hotel. But you don't like the Ocean View Hotel? Who shot that TV? What the heck? <laughs> Rude. 
Everything's black and white. Oh, this looks quite nice. What? My brain. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's locked. Okay, guess I'm going this way. <laughs> Everything behind me changed. <laughs> See you. Come here. I was in a different reality, but not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else. Hey, we got lots of stuff, though. I had to find the right version of the lobby hey, in the pot. right time <laughs> when what I needed was there. It's always the right time to visit Night Spring City's Ocean View Hotel. Thanks to our hotel's unique time anomaly, the time is up to you. Did you oversleep? Visit our morning lobby for the never-ending breakfast buffet. Craving one of our delicious signature cocktails? Stop by the 6 o'clock lobby where cocktail hour is always in full swing. Just follow the clocks to the, of time, wait, to the time of your choice. The Ocean View Hotel, the right time is only a door away. I said a doorway. <laughs> Is only a doorway. The clocks showed the way. Oh. They'd guide me through to get what I needed. Okay. But like, oh, so these are every spot has its own time. Okay, you got this. Find another node, another TV. Entertainment lobby. Oh, there's something right here. I mean, I guess that's a computer. <laughs> but, but we, don't we also need to find a new charge for my thing then? If we use it in the other one? Oh man, they're gearing me up. I'm like afraid. Oh wait, what was that one? It was a three. It was, hey, Tango Lobby. Poppy's nine, okay. Tango Lobby, wait, there wasn't one for that though. So that's where I'd wanna go, right? Entertainment seems like the best space for TV, in my opinion. <laughs> So I'll go to that one last. Where's this gonna take me? Damn it. <laughs> Man, I don't like being scared. <laughs> Holy shit! Time was broken. Gunshot so insanely fast. Time was broken. Okay, so maybe we should go the right way then. <laughs> oh, but this is different. The times are still the same though. But I could open that drawer now. So it's definitely different. See? No, this isn't. Suspicious? I think so. Hmm. And I can't go back, I'm guessing? No. Okay. Well, we know where we need to go, which is probably that way. But also, it could be that way. Which would at least likely have the TV. <laughs> So maybe I'll get more stuff out of this. <laughs> Thinking long term. We don't know how long we'll be here. Gotta make sure we check everything. I'm going down this way first. Oh. More multiverse science babble. Oh, yeah. It gave me the creeps. <laughs> I like how they just say it plain. Don't even try to cover it up. I'll go through it. 
Even if I don't want to. I'm ready. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I, I don't think that it likes that I'm following my own. Oh, the TV! A Luma Vista TV. I just needed energy to power it. Okay. Easy, I couldn't hear easy. the thoughts of the other me. The one native to this reality. Maybe Dor had killed him already. Yeah, I was gonna say he's probably already dead. <laughs> Not a happy thought. And that's still the same. So, you know, oh. Not when a poison pill had mentioned they'd made a comic book of their game. But then maybe poison pill didn't even exist. Exactly. In this reality. Time breaker, thrilling adventures through oh, time a and space. All's revealed in the pages of the trippiest Funny. collection of science fiction stories on the stands. Who is our mysterious traveler? The secret origin of Door includes a 3D pull-out map and the Ripple Effect Corporation. The REC. <laughs> the z zaniest story we've ever published. Z Wait, I want this. The TV sounds like it's about to explode. Stop it, TV. Okay, so we have the TV. Question is, when I go through here, like, will the TV still be there, or? <laughs> this is definitely Ati's world. If I don't see Ati here, I'll be very upset. It's a song. I'm a saint. Cute. scared me so bad. <laughs> Every time. Okay, wait, wait, we're getting distracted. Okay, so for here... And I need to find a light source. I'm shifting source. The question is where? Maybe if I go through this one again, what'll happen then? Let's see. <gasps> there it is. Nice. Avoiding it. <laughs> I'm scared. The PRS was charged up. Now I find my way back to the TV. It shows this way. I wonder if it'll still be the same though. When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking the door. And the vortex brought me here, where the time breakers attacked me. So now we gotta think of something else. <laughs> Hold on, I'm reloading. Thanks for waiting. Very kind of you. 
This shoots so fast. <laughs> I think I can just hold it down too, which is crazy. Okay, well, at least I made it back pretty easily. Let me check around again. Yeah, looks like somewhat normal. See, and that's open, so this time, here we go. A different attack. I thought about the right one. Is she oh. knew If I could find my way out, she could help. The multiverse. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> A strange feeling. <laughs> Still, yet moving. Like frozen snapshots on a sequential path. And yet, thoughts flowing free. Like text read out loud. That is so cool. <laughs> Ripple Effect Corporation. It's, it's you. I made it. Door pulled you away. I thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> we were making a video game of the multiverse, but now it's suddenly real. Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction linked by the energies that ripple through realities. Oh, look at that. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets <laughs> an alien guardian angel. In one reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. Or players, or characters in a comic book why is he after me who is Dor? there are legends about him going back further than we can trace they say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him gave him access to all realities the feedback loop killing all other versions of him so there's only one door. I am on the threshold. No. Or maybe all versions converged into one. Everywhere. We don't know why, but he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them. Bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Learn your lives. Read apart. The master of many worlds. We came through the door. All right. What can I do? He must be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his wake, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel <laughs> through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we can never find it. Maybe you can.
the TV. <laughs> Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. But maybe... You'll come back for me. <laughs> oh, cute. Maybe. Wish me luck. <laughs> it's just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. In another reality, you're just the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. <laughs> I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him, the darkness, the entrance. We're going for him. The master of many worlds. To be continued. <laughs> that was so cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> Door, my time breakers will stop you and you will join their ranks. The actor, fuck off. <laughs> Get ready. Oh. <laughs> Get out of my way. Who's next, huh? You? You want some? Get ready, I'm ready. Is this wave two? Ah, right away. I'm getting beat up by this one. Get out of my way. This isn't the best. Oh god. Oh, there's too many. Oh! No, there's too many! <laughs> Game over. No. Okay, let's do this. That one hit me right away. Get out of here. You gotta be careful. Stay in the middle so I don't get caught. Oh shit. That was bullshit. Got me. I'm sneaky. Die! 
Why is everyone not dying? Oh, God. That was so annoying. That one took like 10 hits. Shoot him. Oh. He did it. Impressive. Out of all the uh, versions, you might be the best. Join me and we'll rule together. No, never. You will regret this also. I was lying. <laughs> Damn it. Where am I going now? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Yoink. The other TV is broken. Okay, I was gonna say, so there must be one further along. <laughs> Go <laughs> retro. <laughs> Holy, look at my. Brought to the very edge of the multiverse. Or some deep, dark trench. Oh my god, there's so many. Everything sucked dry of color. It converges and all here. Oh, the TV is like the broken one. It's supposed to represent to me like coming through it, and it's broken. I can't use it, so I always have to find. Oh, I to see. On. It's all coming together. Confront the master of many worlds. Hey there. There it is. Who? Who? You made a mistake. Oh, it's you. Go to hell. <laughs> Try and stop me. Okay, I wasn't serious. Headshots can also work. I was just really excited with how fast this shoots. <laughs> There's a TV. I see it over there. But what is this place then? Just the dump of... Every time I suck one <laughs> out of its universe, they just fall here. You have come. The challenge. I'll come back for you. See, this furthers my hypothesis. Can you load faster? Damn it. <laughs> So, and then also, my theory that the Taken that we're seeing in Allen's are just other versions of Allen, especially when, like, when he said, I'm drowning. When he said that, that's what he said in the TV, too. It's making me think about it right now. Cool. <sighs> I was stressful. <laughs> I was close. I knew I was close now. Confront the master. Here we go. Is this the one? Is this the one? After dreamless sleep, you come to gradually become aware of the utter lack. There is nothing. Oh. Go back to sleep. 
You fall yourself to slip back under, drifting into oblivion. After dreamless sleep, you come to, <laughs> to an end and then gradually become aware of the utter lack. There is nothing. Ah, go back to sleep. We need more sleep. <laughs> you can yourself to sleep. <laughs> now we keep sleeping. <laughs> Doesn't like me. But we just want to sleep, okay? Some of us don't want to confront the multiverse. Fine. I'll go. <laughs> I focus. You search for something to focus on. An idea of a geometric shape that comes to your mind. A pentagonal trapezoid on john how do you know the name of this shape that you don't know you feel yourself fading drifting apart losing your essence in the stream of consciousness the ebbs and flows of your thoughts hmm let yourself go let yourself drift apart losing what thought and focus you had sleep reclaims you <laughs> after a dream of sleep you come back you come to and gradually become aware of the utter lack there is nothing <laughs> <laughs> Drifting into oblivion. <laughs> oh, we, we sleep more. Okay, it wants me. <laughs> Fine. Some of us don't want to face, okay? We, we hold ourselves together. You fight to hold yourself together, to swim against the current, to break to the surface. Coming to focus, you realize your first impression was wrong. There is something and there is you. Slowly, you sense the wor words describing this, describing how it is. Here in the farthest reaches, reaches of the multiverse, you have reached a reality where only ideas exist. The idea of reality, a conceptual reality, a thought tries to form in your mind. Focus on the thought. You focus on the thought and it becomes clear. In the beginning, there was a world. Here, only words exist. They are everything. They describe this world, and you are in it. Decipher the words. The words describe you standing in a barren, conceptual desert. It stretches on to eternity, in a place outside time. You wait an immeasurable amount of time. Above, ideas and sta of stars silently collide and collapse into black holes. With an idea of, of a desert come to... Well, <laughs> comes an idea of feeling thirsty. Oh. I mean, it's always a cup of coffee in this world. <laughs> but I'm more of a tea person. <laughs> but coffee. As you imagine it, a cup of coffee, your favorite hot beverage, manifests itself. The idea of it, the concept of the delicious smell and taste, you savor it. You imagine savoring it. You understand that here, your thoughts are as real as anything. You realize you could be trapped here forever. Vaguely, you remember that you are on a mission of vital importance. You feel the details of it already dissolving. You must figure out a way to escape before you lose yourself again. In traveling through the vortex, you always had to focus, had a focal point in mind. Could it be that solution here as well? Oh, but this is kind of cute. <laughs> But this is what we need to do. <laughs> and we'll come back for her. But at the same time. But duty. We must. You focus your thoughts on the master of many worlds. The desert dreamscape around you darkens. Vaguely feel the terrible weight of an alien. Godlike awareness. Shift many realities away. How can you possibly find him? Let alone face him. Meditate to learn. Calm yourself and seek harmony, striving to expand your consciousness, to gaze into the secrets of the multiverse and understand your enemy. After struggling for what feels like a lifetime, you feel no closer to your goal. Your mind is not pure enough to grasp the secrets of the multiverse, let alone comprehend its master. You need to study this art to rise to a higher level of awareness. Set out to the desert to find answers. Hmm. Let's set out to the desert. You set out in search of answers. Featureless, the desert continues as far as you can see in every direction. Um, go south. You go south. The desert continues to stretch out before you. Above, ideas of supernovas flare up and wink out. Go east. You go east. Sand slipping beneath your feet. Sweat beads on your forehead. Above, galaxies spiral endlessly. Go west. 
footprints behind you are evident of your progress, but the desert seems to continue forever. Above, strange constellations suggest disturbing shapes. You go north. As you wander, you start to lose your sense of time and place. Just when you're about to lose all hope, you think you see something glimmering to the east. Oh, go east. You go east. You approach what you saw. Hopeful and desperate, there is nothing there. It was a mirage. Your strength fails you and you fall to your knees. Hmm. I don't believe it. Growing weaker, you cross slowly east. You are parched and starving. Dimly, you realize you are close to dying. You are lying on the ground. Channel your mind. You strain to clear your murky head, willing the universe to show its secrets to you. Suddenly, out of a blinding light, a silhouette of a man appears. Look at the man. He looks like you. But the way he carries himself and the glint of deep wisdom in his eyes tells you that this is you from the future. He offers you a seed. Look at the seed. <laughs> it seems like any other seed, but when you stare at it, the image of a towering tree flashes in your mind. I'll take it. You accept the seed the man offers. Then he is gone. Eat the seed. Let's plant the seed. <laughs> We saw a towering tree. It takes roots and grows. This happening rises from the ground. It grows fast. Soon you stand at the foot of a gigantic tree reaching for the skies. It is the tree of life. It is the world tree. A hey, kind of like what we saw. The memory drifts down through it. Uh, bows like a falling leaf. Follow the memory. You follow the memory and see a comic book in your hands. Are they your hands? You can't remember. A comic book is about a legend of a god who hung himself from a branch of a world tree, sacrificing himself to gain secret knowledge. The tree looms over you, inscrutable in its silence. To gain the universe's secret knowledge, you know what you need to do. <laughs> you will sacrifice yourself to gain knowledge you're after, to be reborn with it. You climb up to the trunk and hang yourself from the branch. As you begin to choke, your mind travels along the branches of the tree on the spiritual journey. The branches of the tree reach out through all realities, supporting all realities. The multiverse is born. You are the realities around you. You, All lives and all history unfurling like a river flows. Forked lightning strikes. For, uh, forked lightning striking. A flower blooming. A slow motion explosion blossoming. Like a tree, you hang there for nine nights. It feels like an eternity. Then the branch breaks and you fall to the ground and you hear the tree groan. You see that the tree has grown old and is dying. From the highest branch, a magic fruit sprouts and ripens. As you st stand watching, the tree dies. You notice the fruit has fallen to the ground next to you, along aside a large, crooked branch. <laughs> Pick up the branch. <laughs> Pick up the crooked branch, tracing its path with your fingers. A distant memory stirs. What was your mission? You have gained so much knowledge that you struggle to remember what you were trying to do. Try to remember? Look for it, shifting through your thoughts. It comes to you with a jolt. You are trying to find your way to the master of many worlds. There's something about a door. Focus on the door. With that, the door begins to come into focus. You realize it is missing something. Find the fruit. <laughs> Use the branch with the door. <laughs> the branch bonds with the door, creating a handle. And with that, the door is fully realized. But do I need the fruit? Open the door? You grasp the handle and open the door. But do I take the fruit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do I trust the fruit? Or do I not trust the fruit? Step inside into uh, stand in a room with a man, the master of many worlds, sitting behind a desk. Typing, turning concepts and ideas into words, shaping this reality. He lifts his head. Hey there. The fruit is still here. Look at the master of many worlds. You stare at the man in the eye. With the shock, you realize that you've made a mistake. You've come to the wrong place. This, the man, the master of many worlds, is not the one you are looking for. He's not Dor. He's someone else entirely. You want to ask him what he knows, but it's already too late. Shit. Should I have picked up the fruit? I'm guessing so. Oh, like the desk. Oh! That's not door. God, that looks familiar. That looks like, um, the director's. We have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. <laughs> 
But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Definitely, I was probably should have picked up the fruit. Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host. The one and only Warlin Boar. <laughs> this is Night Springs. Night Springs. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Should I have picked up the fruit? I don't know. <laughs> Space invaders looking cute in the human suit. Secret agents with the down down racing shoes. Am I thinking about if I should have picked up that fruit? I am. Is it haunting me? Maybe. Not spring. It's always a jam in Night Springs. But now I'm just thinking about it. Thinking about it. Should I have picked up the fruit? <laughs> Alan's like, the fuck did I just go through? <laughs> Let me go back to this other TV really quick. Hold on. It's throwing me off. Also, I need my light back. I totally left it over here. <laughs> Come here, light. Nine. See, but I could have sworn this was also a Night Springs episode. But now it's gone. Was it rude to shoot the TV? Yes, it was. Jin with a twist. Achievement. Oh my god, I've been collecting freaking ammo for centuries. For literally centuries. What is this? Oh, nice. But this doesn't fix my TV problem. <laughs> Why aren't you not working, TV? Unless it was just the same all along. Oh, it's huge! <laughs> Where am I gonna put you? Aww. Um, okay. I'm gonna put this here. And then I'm gonna put this up here. Okay. You know. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Hold on. Plan on working? Do you plan on working? Well, <laughs> well, now I'm glad I came over here. <laughs> I like the sound design in this hallway. <laughs> Every time I walk, I'm like, it's so peaceful. Calling that one here, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> you could tell that the <laughs> that everyone that made this game had such a blast making that. They got to do so many different styles. The comic book style for that was crazy. I feel like we really got to learn more about Tim and the redheaded woman was Jesse. So it was, uh, man, it's just really cool to see Jesse again. And it appears that she definitely has a knack for working for different huge things. It was REC in that one, right? Rec? Yeah, REC and then FBC in the other world. It really makes you think about how much alternate universes play into this at all, if at all. Cool to see a lot more, learn a lot more about Tim though. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll continue with Alan's stuff in the next one. Huge thanks to all my patrons. Have a nice night, everyone.